This is one of my favourite little pieces that I made last year, a little artist book in a clamshell box. It's got a little very old Australia map on the back, printed on canvas paper. It was a lot of work, all the, the precise measuring and cutting, which I love doing. It's got a little glass top. This is its little box and inside is a tiny little book with the poem My Country by Dorothea McKellar written in 1904. Apparently she wrote it when she was in England on a trip and she was very homesick for Australia. <clears throat> I'll read it to you. A little bit of Aussie poetry doesn't hurt, does it? The love of field and coppice, of green and shaded lanes, of ordered woods and gardens, is running in your veins. Strong love of grey-blue distance, brown streams and soft dim skies, I know but cannot share it, my love is otherwise. She's actually referring to England in that little piece paragraph. We all know this bit. I love a sunburnt country, a land of sweeping plains, of ragged mountain ranges, of droughts and flooding rains. I love her far horizons, I love her jewel sea, her beauty and her terror, the wide brown land for me. All the illustrations are watercolours. A stark white ringbark forest all tragic to the moon, the sapphire misted mountains, the hot gold hush of noon, green tangle of the brushes where lithe lianas coil, and orchids deck the treetops and ferns the warm dark soil. Core of my heart, my country, her pitiless blue sky. When sick at heart around us, we see the cattle die. But then the grey clouds gather and we can bless again the drumming of an army, the steady soaking rain. Core of my heart, my country, land of the rainbow gold. For flood and fire and famine, she pays us back threefold. Over the thirsty paddocks, watch after many days, the filming grey of greenness that thickens as we gaze. An opal-hearted country, a willful, lavish land. All you who have not loved her, you will not understand. Though earth holds many splendours, wherever I may die, I know to what brown country my homing thoughts will fly. This is a concertina book. And it, um, I had to set the whole book out on the um, up on the computer, set it all out, printed it out on special paper, Canson Infinity Aquarel Rag Inkjet Inkjet paper, which is lovely to print on, but not so nice to paint on. And then I had to do all the paintings individually, and it's a long concertina book. I can't stretch it right out. There. It's in its little box. A little ribbon helps to get it out. And a magnet in the lid. Here we go, my country. <laughs>